Hello everyone, Palador here with some more Overwatch. Uh, right now we are playing another pre-recorded gameplay that I'm commentating over, and uh, I'm playing as Zarya. She is one of my favorite heroes personally, and in my opinion, one of the criminally underrated heroes of Overwatch thus far. Uh, she's classified as a tank, and she has the ability to shield herself and her teammates from damage. Now, the shields only last 2 seconds, but they are for a decent amount of health, uh, 200 on herself, 400 on teammates. And uh, the tricky part here is, when enemies damage your shields, whether it's on a teammate or yourself, you actually gain attack power. You can see that number right underneath my crosshair right now, it's at 8, 7, 6. That is the indicator on how much extra damage that I'm putting out. Um, one shield can give you up to 50 extra uh, percent of extra damage. So if you use both on yourself and a teammate at once, and um, the shields both get depleted, then you can actually go to 100, which is 100% extra power, to say, with uh, your weapon. And it's at that point that Zarya becomes an absolute beast on offense, and you can go completely balls out and, win and just attack with no mercy and no regrets. Now, I'm still getting the hang of her. I, I'm, I'm not claiming to play her perfectly, but she, when you play her right, when you play her well, and when the enemy team allows you to play to her advantage, to her benefits, you can really go on a very quick snowball and a steamroll with Zarya. So with her, you just it's a lot of a push and pull kind of gameplay. You, when you're low on energy, um, you want to be a little bit more defensive until your shields are up, in which case you want to jump into a fight, activate your shields, soak up damage, and then steamroll them from there. And also, of course, shielding enemies whenever you can. Her left click ability, as you saw there, is kind of a focused laser, uh, medium, short to medium range attack. It's a bit hard to aim, it's usually best used on tanks and low mobility characters or characters with huge hitboxes like this Winston, for instance. Because it does do nice damage, but uh, you have to actually be able to hit it as a trick. Otherwise, uh, you'll be using a lot of her right click ability, at least I do, which is kind of a grenade of sorts. It lobs this projectile towards enemies and it will explode for some area damage. Her ult, which I just used there, as you can see, is Gravitron Surge, one of the strongest ults in the game in my opinion. It just helped wipe the enemy team right there. And what it does is it will pull in all the enemies in a fairly large area into a black hole and leave them as sitting ducks for your entire team basically. Now they're not stunned in this state, they can uh, fire back and uh, heroes who do have certain escapes like uh, Genjis or Reapers and such or Tracers, they can escape your Graviton Surge but for the most part most healers do not have, most heroes do not have escapes and it's definitely one of the best combo ults in the game. And in the event that you have a uh, high energy as Zarya it, even as a solo ult, you can completely wreck a team if you have 100 energy and uh, pile them all up into a ball. So you can see here, I mean, I'm, I've gotten to the point basically where it's become a bit of a Zarya steamroll. I've, I've been uh, at high energy for a good portion of this last minute or two. And so I'm just making sure to shield my teammates whenever I see them engaging an enemy like that. Um, soaking in the benefits from that and just keeping at high energy myself. See. Um, McCree and Winston coming, so I pop my shield and uh, soak up as much damage as I can, but the Winston was able to take me out in combination with the McCree, and uh, the enemy team was able to make a pretty good push off of that. Nonetheless, I do have my Gravitron Surge ult to back up, so just trying to save that for the most opportune moment. It's one of the slower charging ults in the game, but again, if you do get a bit of a snowball effect going, it can charge pretty fast if the enemy team allows you to. And that's the trick about it, is just learning when exactly you want to utilize your shields and uh, when you want to be super aggressive as Zarya. You want to use them at times where the enemy almost can't avoid but to hit your shields. Because otherwise, enemies in general will... Uh, you know, try to be smart about it and not hit you or shielded people when they can help it. But if you give them no choice but to hit you, uh, then you're setting yourself up for a lot of high-powered shots and the enemy set, gets set up for a lot of uh, pain. So we're holding the point on this first round pretty well so far. Got a fair coming around the back. Uh, 
shielding our Reaper just in case she pops around the corner there. I do have my ult, so I'm just kind of biding my time, and then I use it just right there. Uh, unfortunately, the enemy Pharah was able to get behind, avoid it, and then take most of our team out with her Justice from Above ult. Uh, justice was served indeed. Nonetheless, it is on overtime now, 99% for both teams, so quite the close first round. Gonna try and get something going here, shielding uh, our Reinhardt just before he's about to take damage. Um, and just hope for the best. Their Diva's out of their mech, their Pharah's floating around, shooting at us. Gotta avoid the McCree, because he can do a lot of damage to a tank with his uh, stuns. But luckily, our team is able to hold it together, and I'm able to keep my shields up. And, uh... Deal with this Genji before he's able to do tremendous damage. So we're able to capture this point. Our teammates arriving just now back from spawn. Meanwhile, the entire enemy team is just coming out of spawn, uh, which allows us to secure the first round. So I'll tell my team good round because indeed it was a good round. Very well fought and very close. And so you can see, even, even with my imperfect Zarya play, she is still... Just extremely snowbally and extremely powerful. Like, without extra energy, without her uh, double damage active, she can seem a little bit mediocre, maybe a little bit weak, if nothing else. But just even when you get 50% extra damage and then 100% extra damage, you become pretty much an unstoppable machine. Because if you have 100% charge, 100% energy, and you're popping into a fight, uh, you know, guns blazing, shields active, high charge. You'll pretty much wipe out anyone you go against without them being able to so much as scratch you because they're either busy dying or running for their lives. So here, just trying to shield myself and my teammates as I can to uh, help with that Reaper. The Reaper is a decent counter to Zarya and any tanks in general as his shotguns deal tremendous damage at uh, close range, at tank range. Now, another thing with Zarya might notice is that Half of her hit points, actually, as we see one of our characters, Junkrat, I think, narrowly avoid being pulled into the pit. But one of the nice things about Zarya is that 200 of her 400 hit points are actually shields. And uh, what that means is, after a short amount of time of not taking damage, they will actually recharge. So half of your hit points can be recharged, meaning you can afford to be risky at times. Um, peek around the corner and poke a little bit and take some damage and then get back into cover and heal back up to full health again. It's a really nice part of uh, Zarya's kit. So at the moment just hanging around watching the situation left and right um, trying to look out for my teammates and who I need to shield. Shielding that tracer she was under fire from the diva and just trying to maintain a hold on this central point. I do have my ult ready so I'm just trying to uh, Wait for the enemy team to bunch up. Um, and Zarya's shields, by the by, they will, in fact, prevent, as I say that, of getting a great ult off here and wipe the enemy team. But as I was saying, uh, Zarya's shields actually do negate the uh, effects of a lot of uh, other heroes, such as Maze Freezing or... Uh, Roadhog's hooks and things like that. If you use a shield, you cannot be hooked. Um, shields will also fully absorb an ult, such as uh, Diva's ult or Tracer's pulse bomb. So even though it, it's only a 200 or 400 hit point shield, that actually will still absorb an entire ult if uh, that's like the only thing hitting them. So it can definitely negate a lot of damage if timed right. But as you can see, just shielding myself, my Lucio, and dealing ridiculous amount of damage to the team. I don't even have to aim. <laughs> Granted, uh, my aim was pretty bad right there, so just ignore that. But there we go, going after that uh, Mei. She's going to freeze and try and uh, stave off her death, but it's of no use. She's dead, and we've got firm control of the point now. And So I'm just going to go up to the Roadhog, no fear, shield myself, and melt him down with my laser. And then same, same with a Genji. Uh, Genji cannot reflect... He can reflect your right-click, your uh, little grenade of sorts. He cannot reflect your lasers, however. So, 15 kill streak going on there. Um, probably better dating back to the last round, in fact. 
And we have a pretty firm grip on the point now. I do have my ult again. I'm frozen. Uh, I'm just waiting for an opportune time to use it. Not going to blow it on just the May. But I will shield myself, take her out, take care of the enemy Zarya before she can build up any of her shield. Uh, laser down the Genji since he cannot reflect it. And then shield my Tracer. But she got out of the way just at the end. There we go. Shield her. And uh, just forget about the Reaper because he's really low and... I'm just trying to pay attention to the, the point itself and my team and just make sure that no one's trying to contest it. But I see the Reaper going back again for more, so whittle him down and uh, get the victory. Didn't even need to use the last Graviton Surge. So it was a pretty well-played game there. Uh, everyone did their role, everyone played, uh, played their role, did their job well, and it's a pretty effective shutout. Good first round, a little bit less of a close second round. But either way, it was... Great fun. I enjoy Zarya a lot. She's a great hero. Um, and yeah, I hope uh, people start playing her more, learn to uh, use her and appreciate her and, you know, find out her strengths. And I hope this video was helpful in that process. So we ended up with 25 objective kills, 36 eliminations. Um, if we go to the other screen, we'll see... Uh, 2 minutes 45 on the objectives, almost 8,000 damage for a silver medal. We blocked 5,300 damage between myself and teammates, and we got a 23-player kill streak. So, like I was saying, good hero, and uh, I hope that was fun for you to watch and informative. Thanks for watching. Come back again soon.